of applause for our next presenter. So the next presentation is going to be all about the inspection and traceability technologies for quality assurance, supply agility, and business growth. Ladies and gentlemen, please put your hands together to be welcoming on stage Mr. Shonak J. Dave, Managing Director and CEO, Advisor Global Business Strategy and Trace Vision India Private Limited, and Mr. Mikhil Chaktu, National Sales Manager and Trace Vision India Private Limited. Thank you, Amish. Is my voice is my voice audible to the last bench? Thank you very much. So I've got 10 minutes, and in 10 minutes I'm going to have an X factor, the presentation on the thought leadership. Once Abraham Lincoln said that if you want to face a national crisis, you need good people, you need to tell them the truth, but at the same time, you join them with a beer. Here, I feel that we are all good people, there is no national crisis, but what we are missing is a beer. And the previous session, which was talking about, you know, like cultural shift and all, the same shift I think I'm envisaging here, to have beer while talking. I know that it's not a beer 30 time in US, there's a beer 30 time at 5.30, but still, you know, we need to change, we need to grow this industry. So a few years back, I was in a World Packaging Conference in Bali, and I was talking about, I was invited as a speaker, talking about the fourth industrial revolution. And I predicted two things. One is the digital world at the bottom of the pyramid. And this story happened to me. When I was in China, somebody has come and say that, you know, give me some money, a beggar. And I said, I don't have yuans. And, and she, the, an old lady, she showed me a QR code that transfer the money. And it was an enlightened moment for me. The second thing, the digital world is the top of the pyramid. A DKV Venture is a venture capital company. They deployed artificial intelligence engine into their managing committee, a board of directors, and it has got the voting right. So technology at the bottom of the pyramid and technology at the top. So this is the adaptation of the technology. This is the digital era. The second thing is disruption. The way business models are running, it's not conservative. You see Airbnb, Netflix, Alibaba, Skype, Uber. These all, they don't own any assets, but they have worked on a disruptive model of the business. And then COVID came. So we all know the impact. I will not go into the detail, but what is the impact on the individual, which is very, very important, is about, you know, we all redefining our success. What is a success? Not making only money, but to live life holistically. Begin to care about environment and sustainability and conscious thinking about anything and everything. So what is the shift? The shift is society, business, and individual. The society from resource exploration or exploitation is going towards sustainability. Business from capitalism to responsible capitalism and individual from materialistic to the holistic way. You have this question that why I'm talking about it. Because it's all about you know, the technology adaptation, the way the world is changing and changing is very fast. Where the pre-COVID, there was introduction on the digital disruption. But now the post-COVID, it's more about you know, acceleration. And then there was a change in our mindset. And there is a change in the mindset. I think if I would ask you that you were the same person before the COVID, most of us would say no. We have changed. And this consumer mindset, and I also reflecting myself that it has changed. The first one is safety. It's very important for all of us to know that who is our consumer, what is our target segment. And then after we talk about affordability, accessibility, and availability. So this is a shift. One is the safety. The paramount is safety. Safety, that means, you know, that do I buy a quality product? Second is value for money. Whether I'm paying 
I get the real value of whatever. Perception would be different, but you know for certain segment it's the same. The third is information at convenience. I'm coming from the pharma background, being an engineer and MBA. We see that in pharma there are a lot of information. We don't need that information. I need information at my convenience. I should scan a QR code or I go to the website and whatever the information I need, it should be easily available. Sustainable impact. I don't want to use paper. Even in our organization, it's an Italian organization, we started reducing you know, paper. It's all going towards digital. And customer experience. If you want to change the culture of the industry, if you want to grow, you need to understand what consumer wants. And that's why I call con Conscious Consumer Pentagon. These are the market signals for the beer industry. 2.7% global, 9% here, 4.5%. But how we can achieve 9%, I've been going to talk about it. It's a very nice quote where the Carlsberg CEO says that what got us here will not get us to the future. It's a Marshall Goldsmith uh, quote, very famous quote. And this is where they say that big companies like Carlsberg also, they are talking about the young generation, they are talking about purpose, sustainability, and health. So if you talk about Gen Y and Gen Z, of course in India, this segment is emerging. And for the long-term business, during my MBA, I studied the classic Marlboro case where they were focusing on the young guys. Because once you start you know, smoking, you will be the brand loyal. And this is where the Gen Y, Millennial, and Gen Z came into the picture. And what exactly they want? They want higher quality, purpose to associate with that brand. Right? Till now, the beer industry is just like sitting with friends, sharing, or you know, like after the uh, hard work, you go and hit the pub, and then you have a drink and self-reward yourself. Nothing more than that. But now, there will be a purpose. Of why I am drinking this particular lager beer? Why I am going towards the craft? Health. Health conscious from the you know, high content alcohol to the mild content. Sustainability, fast delivery, high degree of services, and e-commerce. Even in India now, as said in Maharashtra, the e-commerce has started. That means you, as a beer manufacturer, you need to check your supply chain. There is a disruption coming up. So change is always constant. Change is faster than ever before. And digitalization and understanding conscious consumer is the way forward. And my question is, are we faster than the change? What is the strategy to be faster than the change? And I believe that Steve Jobs, he said that you, know, you don't need to ask feedback from your consumer. Yes, feedback is to improve yourself. But the real strategy is that to figure out what they want before they do. Very important question, like if you want to be a trendsetter, you need to understand what they are going to expect. And Gen Y and Gen Z, they are going to expect something else than you know, the traditional, our you know, pre-millennial boomer kind of people. So what, how we can serve them? There are two things. One is, you know, like connecting physical and digital world with the integrated value chain in your manufacturing to the end of the marketing. And that is what Antares Vision Group is an Italian company, is a conglomerate of, you know, 12 companies. What we do is connecting the supply chain with inspection solution. Basic thing is that if you don't have the data, you can't have the information. And if you don't have the information, you cannot generate the value. In simple words, that if you want to create a story about your beer, if you don't have the data, if you don't have the data from the raw material, you can't create the story. If you want to pass on the quality mindset to the consumer that what quality we are embedding in our manufacturing process, brewing process and all, you need to have the data. And from that data, you create some sort of, you know, the personalization or comes sort of story. Without that, you can't do it. And that is what our group is doing. We are generating the data from inspection and traceability. We are transforming into the information, creating a digital factory, and then offering end-to-end -end supply chain traceability on your entire supply chain. 
So I would like to please play a video like what is end-to-end -end traceability. What's behind a refreshing drink in the digital interconnected world? A world of premium ingredients carefully selected with certified quality. A production process totally controlled from end to end with quality inspection at all stages smart controls to monitor performance and reduce waste. A bottle that knows its identity from its unique label to the pack to the pallet. A truck that's traveling across the most efficient route to the right destination. A store that knows exactly what is coming in and what's going out, even when things don't go according to plan. A responsible drinker who knows that behind a flavor is a reliable brand and a world of connections. A bottle that knows its way while going through another step of its journey. So all this is behind a refreshing drink coming from the smart factory of today. Going through a sustainable and interconnected supply chain. right into the hands of a new generation of responsible consumers, where safety and trust mean loyalty. Welcome to the era of the smart product. Welcome to the era of trustparency. So this is what Antares Vision Group we are doing, building a transparency across the supply chain. Excuse me, I'm not able to move it. Slide. Okay. And when you have the data and information, then you can create campaigns. You have the different kind of campaigns by connecting brand owners to the end consumers. I will not go into the detail because it's a different subject altogether, but you know, five segments, consumer education, consumer engagement, consumer loyalty, consumer assurance, sales cycle automation, and business growth. How to grow and what kind of technology is using. Maybe you can visit our stall and we can have a detailed discussion about it. So, in the nutshell, what we do is protecting product, profit, people, and planet with the help of technology, innovation, and creating a digital world in the manufacturing environment. So you see from raw material to the consumer, with all your machines, we integrate. And there are compliances also. Like in Russia, there is a traceability compliances. Similarly, you know, in few states in India, also there is a traceability compliances for the revenue protection, excise protection. Similarly, it is coming. So when this compliance comes, you have a lot of data and how you are going to, what you are going to do with this data, it will decide how you are going to differentiate your business with others and how you can be the leader. We have three technology spectrum, I think time is less, so my colleague Mikhil will talk about technology so that you can build a story on quality. Thank you very much, thank you very much all. So I say that journey of thousand mile begins with one step and take the smart one. That means, you know, begin with the code and tell the story to the world and change the culture of your business. Thank you very much. My colleague Mikhil will be there for 10 minutes. Uh, thank you. Perfect. Uh, thank you, Mr. Shonak. It was very thoughtful presentation altogether. This is me, Mikhil Chaktu. I'm the National Sales Manager for Antares Vision Group itself. Uh, can I have it? Sorry. Thank you. OK, 
Okay, perfect. Uh, so I will quickly go through with uh, our inspection solutions. Uh, that is there specifically for brewery. Uh, I hope my voice is clear enough. Yep. Uh, so starting with uh, empty container inspection, we depending upon the container itself, uh, either it can be a glass bottle or can, so we can have uh, vision inspection technology across it up. In my coming slides, I will go through with it, uh, about these technology in details. The second would be fill level inspection solutions, closure inspection, filling and capping monitoring systems, inline leak detection and pressure management equipments, uh, label and code inspection solutions, checkways, the laboratory equipments for measurement of your concentration and pressure, then smart data management systems, traceability, as well as uh, aggregation and serialization. Over to the next slide. Uh, I will start up with uh, the new regulation that is being there domestically as well as globally when it comes to regular uh, uh, Russia regulation for uh, traceability. So I hope most of us probably might know what exactly serialization is. So serialization is having a unique UID that is being printed on every single saleable unit. As you can see, uh, you do have product information. Other than that, product information, you have G10 and serial number. The combination of serial number and G10 number, the SG10 number, is known as the unique UID. So it is being printed or pasted on every single saleable unit. So it helps us to track the product throughout its life cycle or supply chain, as you call it up, starting from the raw material to the production environment where it is being produced, then to the packaging line, then to the warehouse, then logistic, retailers, end user, as well as the recycling of the product. When we talk about serialization or track and trace, it is not about the compliance only. It is way beyond that, too. Um, there's a small video. Uh, I will play that up. Uh, that can explain you more about how the traceability solution works. Uh, can I have the video, please? Uh, sorry. Can I have the video? Yeah. No, the. This particular video was from one of our projects that we did in, uh, with one of our liquor uh, customers. As you can see, uh, there was a 
label that was being pasted on every single bottle itself. That was a QR code at the, or data matrix that was being there. That is being used to generate a UID, a unique serial number on every single saleable unit. And across that up, at the shipper level, we were able to scan all these QR codes or data matrix to have a parent-child relationship build up. Over to the next slide itself, as most of you must be aware about it, it is a filling line, a bottle filling line itself. And uh, throughout the process itself, we do have our solution at every single stage as such, starting from the empty bottle inspection that we call it EBI, till the checkware and beyond also when it comes to customer engagement itself. I will quickly go to the next slide. Now, um, I will go a bit in deep, uh, depth about every single inspection that we are doing it up. So first is empty container inspection. Um, with our smart cameras itself, we are, we are able to inspect up to six modules, uh, starting with your neck, uh, the inner wall, outer wall, the thread of the bottle itself, um, the residue amount of or any kind of a foreign particles that is being there inside the bottle or the can. So this is being done with our smart cameras. Second technology that I would be talking about is fill level inspection solutions. We do have both the technologies over here when it comes to fill level. Low fill, high fill. Uh, we do have high frequency phone compensation as well as the X-ray devices. Uh, so depending upon your product, the container, uh, whether it is conductive, whether it is not conductive, we, we can propose the solution itself. After this, uh, for this technology, uh, I will show one video as such to explain this particular in a better way. Can you please show, play the video? The system is able to measure in a separate way the liquid level and the foam mass. Combining both collected values, the system evaluates the real filling level as when the foam will be dissolved. The foam compensation system ensures proper filling level measurement, avoiding false rejection due to the presence of foam and ensuring at the same time that all bottles marketed are properly filled. The next technology that we will be talking about would be the cap inspection. Uh, depending upon the requirement from the customer itself, we can, we can inspect a 360 degree cap as such uh, for different defects like uh, missing cap, misalignment, the diameter of the cap, ovality, uh, the seal level itself, tamper evident, as well as if there is any kind of a branding that is being on the cap itself, we can check the orientation of it, whether the branding is rightly being there, OCR, OCV, depending upon the application as such. The next technology, innovative technology that I will be discussing about is inline leak detection through laser spectroscopy. With the low intensity laser beam itself, we are able to detect any kind of a leakage to your product without having any, det uh, without, it's a technology that is non-destructive, so you don't have to destroy your product. It is an online process itself where 100% uh, of your production is being checked for leak detection. Uh, it is not the same technology that was being previously being there, so you need to have the sample of the products that need to be uh, checked for the leakage where you have to destroy that particular product. With this technology itself, you don't have to destroy it up and it is for the whole production line as such. The next would be for Keynes itself, the same technology where we are using for the leak detection itself. For cans as such, so we do have mechanical squeezers also where if, if uh, the laser diodes can't work for that particular technology, then we have a, a skewer technology where we do have pressure gauges itself, pressure sensors which, change, which detects the change in the pressure by mechanical squeezer. The next would be the label and the code inspection. So we are inspecting 360 degree a label for its presence, absence, the orientation, 
uh, if you have any QR code, any, any information that is being printed, the data matrix, the OCR, OCV, all these characters can be read it through the ca cameras itself. The next product would be the checkware. So it's a weighing device that checks the whole uh, case as such. Nothing to be explained much about it. Um, now the last slide would be uh, regarding a case study that we did recently with one of our projects. Uh, it is for pet bottle CSD line, 600 BPM line it was. Uh, the issue the customer was having, um, they were already having a vision camera over there, the vision system over there, but it was the false rejection as well as um, the rework. That was a major issue. They were having a high rejection values of around six, seven, sometimes 10 percent as such. So with FT itself and AV, so we propose uh, a FBI, a combined setup of FBI, that is fill level inspection solution with a 360 degree camera inspection. And we can proudly say it up at this particular time, uh, there is 0% detection failure, false rejection is 0.01%, and line stoppage is zero minutes. And that is one of the case studies that was being there. Thank you. Uh, if there is any, any questions as such, or you can, you can please, please pay a visit to our booth over there, or do you? Thank you.